I'll go. Yes. Because uh, Gary is now caught up. I've watched actually. I watched the first three episodes. Oh wow. The one well, I've watched the you second watched one. The, the second one, which is quite impressive, as it was only on last night. And so, was Luke's prediction right that if you watch the end of episode one, you've got to watch episode two? Absolutely. I I I I have to say, I absolutely loved this. Yeah, I thought the second episode was amazing. I just think it was something you never see on TV before, no. like just uh, these two women being kidnapped and just trying to es- evade the little scene where the, the the woman from the the aid center gets murdered. Yeah, that was harsh, man. And 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 uh, I don't know. The whole thing felt. I knew it was going to happen. I still wanted to see how it was going to happen, and I was still unsure about how they were going to do it. What, do what actually recapture her? I think the whole that I, I will agree with something Luke said. Sometimes the dialogue does your head in, yeah. and even then, so it's, not, it's the supporting soldiers, isn't yeah. it? That's well, actually, amazing. even I would say the little bits between um, uh, Michelle Keegan and the and the and the nurse sometimes were a little bit contrived, and you know the kind of you know kind of oh we're in this together we're going to get out. You know I didn't like it. But the, the actual plot and how they're doing this series is fantastic. And I have to say, Michelle Keegan is acting her She's socks really good, off. isn't she? I, I found her. I mean, I, I think, well, you're the same. We never watched her in no, Courage. No, never watched her. But then uh, as somebody reminded me, uh, Saran Jones came from there. Uh, yeah, so, and Sarah, and Lancashire. Sarah Lancashire. So, yeah, uh, she definitely, I, and she was really charming at the screening as well. I can't say enough nice things about her. Good. Um, uh, and I just think, yeah, she's done really well in this. And it feels it feels like a different series, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, uh, yeah. I love the bit at the end when she gets recaptured. She gets captured, sorry. She gets saved Rescued. by the by the special ops. And, of course, off comes Elvis. the mask and there's Elvis. And instead of, like, thanking him, the first thing she does is slap him right across the cheeks. It is. A, that was uh, nice. I mean, yeah, uh, there is a bit next week um, where they sort of reveal more about well, what what's interesting as well, uh, and the only bit which I did enjoy uh, of the of when they were captured, you know, the, the the conversation is they did reveal that the reason that she kind of fell for him in the first place because he was, you know, he was in, in he was the person that got her out of a tricky situation. Yeah, in, it was in, actually in Afghanistan, on I think, wasn't it? The iPlayer, right. there is like a six minutes sort of prequel of those two. Oh, and what happened oh well, there you there. are beginning of their relationship and it actually it will play into what he reveals right in the next are we going to find out that basically he didn't turn up for a damn good reason is that's what's going to happen i I don't i i i can't reveal i'll tell you i'll tell you off okay well no that's fine i'm happy to watch it and stuff i'm gonna say it this could be one of the best dramas of the year I, yeah, I, I, I'm finding it very watchable. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you talked there with like Line of Duty and Happy Valley. Oh, I don't know. And, and there's a lot of. I mean, we'll get to the pick of the week in a minute. There's a lot of good stuff coming, but at the yeah. moment, top notch. I really enjoy it. I think I think it dips towards the end of the third episode because okay. a lot of things sort of reset. Well, but certainly it's it is flying high at the moment. I think. Yeah. Uh, the second episode was just so good in the. And I like how they've sort of got a like a British guy like as the sort of head terrorist. Yeah, and I, I did like all that stuff where he was explaining, you know, and, and, and Michelle Keegan's character did kind of go, oh, what about your family? She was trying to sort of rail yeah. him a little bit or get some sort of personal connection. And I, and I did like all that because, of course, also it's newsworthy. This is, you know, this is real life. This is what's happening. I like the ice stuff. And yeah, stuff like that. it's what's happening. You know, this is this is real life, as they say. I think in some other shows you would have had the guy the like the guy she was trying to sort of get on her side he would have helped her escape yeah in this he basically turned and shot the other one yeah dead, killed her um, yeah he was the one that discovered that she was more than just a medic that she and was then, a... and then it was and then it was like um oh you're on your own now sort of thing. yeah the main guy sort of left the compound and... but yes uh wednesdays straight after the bake-off uh, is when you can catch our girl. That's what Luke. That's what Luke would want us to say, isn't it? He wouldn't want us to yeah. tell you where. Wednesdays at nine o'clock on BBC. One.